Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to the creative side of Planet Nomads. Uh, for those who have been with the series for a while, I apologize for the, the lack of videos. Um, I, I got built out, what can I say? I've been building so much in so many different games, and yeah, after a while you need a break. So I've been, as you saw, doing other things, and playing my own games in my own time, and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, I have been following the, the updates and the experimental building, which is what I'm in right now, I'm actually in 1.0.6.1, and there have been changes, we have some new blocks to play with, this is actually quite impressive, like I didn't know they were still adding blocks, uh, the new one that got my attention was the small block windows, this is great, like uh, it was in 1.0.6.0 that they came out, but they were just white, now they actually have the colors, and this is actually something. And I didn't know about these other blocks, like I didn't know about this inverted corner here, or even like the small little guys here, maybe they were there, I just didn't notice them, but even this long art corner, that's actually really handy. It's so nice that they're still adding new blocks, which is good because uh, that adds more ideas for creativity. Now, regarding uh, the lack of videos, uh, you know, it's not like it's I haven't had any ideas. As you can see up on the screen there, I do have a list of things that I want to do. And those have been on, some of those have been on there for quite some time, and it's just a matter of having the right to, blocks to be able to work on them. So, yeah, it's not like I didn't have the idea, I just haven't had the creative energy uh, but there's one I wanted to work on today that's actually going to be a little bit fun I might have to do a little bit of oh happy day here soon but uh, I want to build the UFO uh, this is something I've been it's actually on the list there if you look co closely you might actually see it I do have it blurred out for a reason no spoilers right and uh, I was going to do it down here I might as well do it down here but uh, I want to do sort of like a, a flying saucer and get some th sort of flying saucer like effects going with it and go from there. So let me get my hotbar ready and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm ready here. Like I said, I think I'm ready. It doesn't necessarily mean I am. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and build up. And I'm thinking, I'm just going to go with my favorite color in the game here. Oh no, I grabbed the wrong post here. Uh oh. I can't be doing that now. It's got to be that one. Can't be the one with the conveyor. That is not allowed. Anyway, uh, should this be enough room? Uh, it might be. We'll go one more. No reason why we can't. Now, this whole build is going to be sp uh, based around the fact that, as you can see on my hotbar here, I have a beacon. Uh, the beacon is actually going to be uh, uh, going to be the beam, the, the tractor beam, laser beam, whatever kind of beam you want it, depending on what color it is, and. I've decided I'm going to go with, I'm going to try to avoid the roundness and try not to get too complex with the shapes just to make it easier and so that all the blocks do line up. Uh, I'm sure I could spend hours and hours and hours trying to get everything lining up, but even, you know, even something like the Revenger didn't turn out as good as it could have. But the beacon is a 5x5, five five, so I am going to go and make a 7x7 seven seven ring, or 9x9. Nine nine. Uh, let's see, you can go for a 3 and oh hang on i'll get there eventually i haven't i haven't done this in a while i'm a new i'm new to this game what can i say all right and yeah so it's gonna be a seven by seven now what i'm thinking about doing is uh placing blocks in the right spot for one is from this point i'm gonna try to get, get it tapering up about six blocks or so, so up to about 45, and then from there it's going to go flat because I want to try to use some, get some special lighting effects going. But I'm going to quit rambling and I'm going to do a cut and I'll be right back. Okay, there's the ring. And now we're going to go ahead and grab a block here. That's not the block, that is. Uh, let's see, because uh, the beacon is eight tall, I've already measured it, and I want to have one block gap, so I'm going to go up nine. Actually, go up 10. So, one, two, yeah, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, then that's 11 blocks. Wait, hold on. So, that's a gap. Then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there. The 
beacon is a 5x5. Five five. So I'm going to go ahead and place that down now. Uh, let's see. Let's go down a little bit and change my axis. And that is off center. Of course it is. Okay, that should be it. Let's get this out of my face so we can actually see. Okay, good. So what I'm going to be doing with this build is I'm going to be using the center mass or the, the weight of the beacon to keep this thing upright because I'm going to be having the air blade slightly below the center of it. Uh, my idea is, well, let me get some more blocks here. Uh, actually, I have them right here. Uh, just finish this up quickly here. And one more. Okay, get rid of that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, like I said, it's going to be tapering up to about, probably about this point here. Uh, the air blades are going to be coming off of here. So this is where the air blades are going to be. Obviously, there's going to be like a, a cross member. So I'm th I was thinking about having the air blades in here. This is going to be a 7x7 seven seven area. So uh, the beacon is in the way. So I might have to bring them out a little bit. But I want to try to get like four air blades in each corner. So 16 should be enough to lift this, I'm hoping. Uh, they are surprisingly... I think it was something like 800 kilos or something. This is only 10,000, so it should be enough. We can always sneak a couple more in the corners if we need to. So, uh, yeah, and then from here, there's going to be... Well, we'll get to that in a second. Let me get a bit of a framework set up, and I'll bring you back when I've got something. Okay, so here's uh, the basic outline of it, so you can see the how it's going to funnel off the bottom. I'm going to try to get this to sort of merge in so it's basically come out straight on this side and straight on the other side and create a nice big triangle here uh, if, as far as the windows go the windows are going to do the same thing they're going to be a ring of windows going around the inside and in here there's going to be a rotating plate that's going to be set to auto rotation if i actually place it into the right spot right there auto rota rotation with uh probably don't need to put extra blocks on it. I'll probably just put the, the one block on there and there's going to be four lights on either side. That's just going to rotate and create that pulse, light pulse corner on the ring of the ship. And then up top I was trying to figure out how I was going to work this out and uh, yeah, needless to say you can't actually stack these on top like I was hoping like I do hit have here. Uh, that's because they do technically need to have a block just down below here. So they got something to snap onto. I don't know if you can actually... Hang on. Uh, let me get the block out of my face. So you can see right here, there's actually supposed to be something that connects to it. But for some reason, these ones here, you can sort of do like this pattern. This one's actually on the outside, but that's fine. But they do all connect. So then I just build off of here, and then it works. Now originally I was going to try to build off the top here, but I still couldn't get it to actually line up. As you can uh, see here, in order for that to work, I'd have to be over here, but I'd have to have like something right here. And I know there's, I know we got these flat slopes in here, like this one. Probably not that one. That might be too big, but you know we got different little things that could stick in there to make it work. But uh, this seems to work. I'm gonna go with this and go with that. So this is the outline, uh, the air blades. Let's get back up here. Uh, I've decided I can actually get 32 of them in here. And that should be more than enough. And they are going to go here. And I'm doing this pattern here. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six. And I realized I could have left that block there because I was going to have to place it anyways. So it gives me two six by six, or four six by six areas in each corner that gives me room for air blades. Uh, the reason why I'm putting these out here is there's going to be a designated front of the ship. Now, I want to make sure that when I place the air blades that they're all facing the same direction. So the, the ones in the front and the back, they're okay to go on, on here and on the outside here as soon as I place this. But you know what I mean? Like over there, it's it's okay if they're out here and here, like their attachment points. But when I come to the sides, then they're going to be backwards and I'll have to do more rekey binding. So at least this way I can have them on this side and this side. I'm not going to bother putting anything on the outside here. I don't really need them. But that is that. So I do have... 
a thousand or two blocks to lay down and I will bring you back when I'm all done that. My math is off. I didn't need to go out six. I really only need to technically go out two. So that's what I'm going to do because the attachment point will be there. Uh, yes, it will be eight air blades each, but two, four, six, eight. Eight times four is 32. That would have been 64. And to believe, and would you believe that math was actually my strong school, suit in school? So was English. I was kidding about English, by the way. That was my worst subject. Okay, I am back, and it's a good thing I do audio check. I do recording checks before I continue recording for the day, uh, like first recordings, because uh, I guess there was an update or something, and Windows decided to mess with my microphone audio again. Anyway, so I do have most of the shell all basically set up. I decided to change the windows out to white to get a little bit of a contour to it. Now, my original plan when I thought of this idea was there was going to be like a a hatch that opened up here with a rotor but I started thinking about it b before I even started getting into it trying to get into some sort of staircase in here would be kind of tricky with our our death beam here and then I wanted to try to get like I originally wanted to get like legs folding out that would you know sort of fold out from the ship and make it land on the ground but yeah it's that's asking for trouble but anyways uh, so I did do a bit of a change originally I was going to have a block roof on top but now that I realize I can stack these triangles like this I can actually make it glass dome so that's what I'm gonna do but first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and we're gonna get the air blades in we're gonna get them situated uh, what side should we have the front I don't think it really matters does it uh, let's pick a direction north all right so uh, I don't know why I was using my mouse wheel so I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna place a little bit of a spot here uh, Let's make this the front just because I already have the window in so I can get a better idea of where I'm going to place the cockpit. So uh, let me fill this in a little bit and we'll place the cockpit. Okay, and I realized I shouldn't have filled in this hole because I was uh, using this hole as basically my guide for the, the window because I'm not going to have the window coming right down. There's going to be a block and then there's going to be a slope or two slopes on the outside like so. And then the window's going to go around like that. But anyways, oh, I fell down the hole. Go figure. Oh, I fell down again. Go figure. Okay. So, anyways, uh, I decided uh, I've already got on my hot bar what am I doing? Uh, there we go. Number six. We're going to stand up in this one because it's actually a three block wide. So, I could go there, but then that window is going to be awfully close. So, if you put it back here, let's get that out of there and just see how we are. I think that's pretty good. It gives us a lot of room behind us to to do whatever we need to do. Uh, there is going to be an escape hatch or hole outside the ship, and I'm probably just going to leave these two spots open so I can do stuff like this all the time. But anyway, so that is done. Let's actually get inside and take care of the air blades. So we know that this over here is going to be the front of the ship, or the saucer, or whatever you want to call it. And then what am I going to do? Just so I know, so I'm gonna just mark that one block. We won't see it from the outside, but that show, lets me know that this is the front of the ship. All right, time for the air blades. And we're gonna make them all the same color too, just because. So it's gonna be eight of them here, right? And that's actually why, one of the reasons why I left that open is because that's gonna be our entrance and exit. So because these, were going, these ones are going that way, that means I'm gonna have to place these ones facing this way just to keep key bindings a little bit easier like so so in that way it's going to be eight on each section but these ones are going to be turned sideways to correspond with that so let me get this taken care of and we'll set them up okay and there we go so they are in place now we got to get the power supply in here too um let's actually check weights here i like to try to keep this balance if anything a little front heavy uh so i'm going to use a small deuterium generator what do the air blades use they use 100 so i have 32 so i'm going to need two of these because these can only support 32, the beacon uses 100 power, and then the lights, they shouldn't use much. Uh, 10, and then the rotating plate. Yeah, 2 should be enough, I think. So what's the weight on that? 250, and this is 300. Okay. Well, I think, logically, let's get out of the hole first. I go up here. So if that's 300, then probably want to have them like 
somewhere here as soon as I can land there. All right, so probably I think the best thing to do would be to play some. I want to leave like a three by three. So one, two, three, and I think just behind the center point would be enough. You know, it's still going to give us a little bit of a tilt, but at the same time, it's going to sort of a compensate for the the cockpit that's over there. And I'm just guessing. I'm not really do any crunching numbers for this. I'm no I'm no engineer, what can I say? I just play video games. But anyway, so so that is that. Uh, that's not the right button. That's what I want. Okay, uh, let's get these configured and I'll, and I'll wire them all up later. So that is the front. So let's go in here. Oh, I also have to, I want to get this set up for strafing too, which means I'm going to have to get them all double configured and I apologize if you hear any banging outside that's my neighbors but that's fine anyway uh let's get the old vision up and let's see here i could have sworn direction was on the top i guess not anyway so yeah on this side it's going to be the directional is going to be going this way oh that way on all of them which means of course on this side I'll have to have it opposite just one click and not a problem I know I could do this through the, the terminal but believe me in a setup like this it's so much easier to visually see what you're doing because you don't know if this airplane is on this side or this side because one click here is different than one click here so yeah Anyway, uh, that is that, and then uh, the steering is going to be the same thing. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. Yeah, uh, steering is going to be the same thing here. Uh, wrong button. Too many games, too many different keys. What can I say? Uh, steering again. Uh, the left or the top arrow. If it's pointing right, it's going to go right. If it's pointing left, it's still going to go right, which is kind of kind of screwy but yeah and then uh, it's gonna be reverse steering the back of course I probably probably could get these ones set up too no probably not I probably won't have steering on these ones uh, that's just for pivoting right I'll probably leave these for the strafing actually that might be a smart idea but anyways let me get these set up and I'll be back Okay, they are set up. The only things left to do is the key bindings, which I need to do. Uh, I'm going to put the switchboard here, which is on number seven. Oh, no, switchboard was going to go there, but whatever. We'll do that. And I have to use the switchboard because I need to... Well, terminal, because I can't actually access the key bindings, and I can't actually access the terminal unless it's powered. See? No power. Anyway, I'm uh, just trying to get my head around what the buttons were. There we go. Now, unfortunately, yeah, I can't access the key bindings from the radio menu, so I have to go and figure out which air blades are which. This is where, hopefully, I can't rename them, so I actually have to turn them off. Troubleshooting at its finest. Unfortunately, there's no rename in the menu here, so I have to turn them off so I know which one's which. And uh, that also means, too, I'm going to have to... I might actually have to visually do these things one by one. Uh, let me figure it out. I'll bring it back. Actually, I had a smart idea. Uh, because I have them reversed like this, this one is going to be set exactly the same as this one, and this one is going to be set exactly the same as this one. Then I only turn off half of them. So I can do this, and let's see if we can reach that one. Yes, I can. All right, so it's the one on the left that turns off. I keep hitting control. Uh, yeah, so that one stays, this one goes off. So they do it that way, and then I can configure these ones, and then I can come down here and turn these back on, and turn the other ones off, and configure it that way. So let me do that, and I'll, re I'll be back. Oh, and I was wrong about the steering. I'm pushing right, and you can see on the front ones here, let me, I can't turn my light on, but I'm pushing right, those are supposed to be going the other way, so I gotta switch those over, same with the ones left to me, 
but anyways, uh, I'll be back. Okay, that was actually pretty easy. It was uh, just a lot of singly things going through. Uh, basically, what I did is these ones here. I have all the, all the directional going the same way, and then that way the hotkey is exact same. So, using Z and X for strafe here because it's not using the cockpit. So, uh, Z goes this way, X goes this way, and yeah, even though the airplanes are either side because I have the directional arrow going the same way, that's how it works. And what I'm doing is I'm uh, what I'm doing is let's see if I can find one here that's turned off. Uh, yeah, here. So. I'm actually disabling the a WASD for the air blades themselves, like these ones that are doing the, the left and right because they're not steering. So I'm just using Z and X for them. Uh, if I w was doing it, using it where I was using, using them for steering as well, I'd have to do it like with the flyer where I'd have to reverse the Z and X on half the air blades. But since we're not doing that, we don't have to worry about it. Anyway, so let's get rid of that laggy build vision. Let me wire everything back up and get uh, the dome up put on top so I shall return okay I have the, the dome done it actually doesn't look too bad uh, it was an absolute pain trying to build this uh, no pun intended on that one trust me uh, the reason being is because you have like literally like two pixels on the edge to actually place the block or the window so anyways let's go outside and have a look at it all right let's go up here let's uh, Hover up. Yeah, it's not too bad. Could be round, but you know, it's. You know, for what I'm trying to do, you gotta work with what we have. Definitely do like it. Let's turn the light off so it looks a little better. Alright, the only thing that's really left to do is get the little light features going, including our uh, big old beam here. Now, I was I already looked in the terminal, and the only key binds we can really do with the the beacon itself is let me find my way up here. I really there's supposed to be a way we could disable that, uh, disabling the the camera going third person like that. Uh, but yeah, as far as uh, the key binding go key bindings go on the beacon, let me get my breath here. Uh, yeah, that you can only toggle it on, toggle it off, or just toggle it. So yeah, we like toggle on like using one key to turn it on and off. If it's on, it turns it off. If it's off, it turns it on. So I might do that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. And then yeah, the only other thing would be is uh, I was hoping we could change it, at least change the color with it, but we can't. And then the other thing I was gonna do, and I don't know if you can actually see it here, I had to replace these. Uh, I realized this block was one up too high, and what I want to do is I want to put the right block that is put lights here and then what they're going to do is they're, this is actually going to be spinning automatically as soon as you start it up you hit a button you'll turn the lights on and they just start spinning and the reason why if the windows on the outside is you can actually watch the lights go around and hopefully create that sort of trailing light effect going going around okay now let's see if I can get down here without losing my jetpack oh spoke too soon Although, realistically, I do have room to actually walk around down here, so... Anyway, so now I just got to get up here. Oh, that's what I'm trying to get to. You get the idea. Let me uh, get this all fixed up, and I'll bring it back. Okay, I do believe I have everything done. I just had to put uh, these in here for the lights. Uh, unfortunately, they're a little too tall, so I had to build down a little bit and have them down into the the fan room we'll call it I had to move the generators over to just uh, get a little bit of room to walk by put some railings up so we're not intentionally unintentionally falling down the hole uh, I decided to go with cyan on the lights for now uh, there isn't a whole lot of color here it's uh, purple but I don't know I was thinking about the blue but the blue is a little dark either that or the yellow and then the beacon here is a nice yellow color now I have this hot keyed on L for laser and then uh, the lights are on Y I do believe let's find out okay we go in here we're going to third person and we'll zoom out as far as we can go so L is for the laser toggles it on and off and then if we hit Y that turns it off and then that should start rotation 
I do have it set on max speed, so that's about as fast as it's going to go. I was thinking about trying to get add other lights on there, but uh, because we can't place them on 45s, so it'd be like groups of lights going around. It does have a nice effect. It's actually going down, get, get dark pretty soon. So uh, what we'll do first, let's, uh, let's turn those off for now. Let's get out and let's actually see if a single fly. Maybe I should uh, hover up a little bit. Watch it go shooting off into the space, into the stars, and we'll never see it again. All right, and... I... Hmm. Now how do I get in? I didn't think of that, did I? I didn't save either. Oh, do I really have to punch a hole in the wall? I think so. Can't be too heavy. We'll find out once we get inside. Um, yeah, maybe I should have put a door on this thing. All right, we'll have to go in the, the hard way. Okay, I know I got a well. There's really no support, but let's go through. Sneak in, and let's stand up so I can actually see what I'm doing here. All right, is this actually gonna fly? Are you serious? It won't. I guess I'm gonna need a few more air blades. Uh, let me fix that. Fortunately, I have plenty of room down here. So I can add a few more here. I could probably put a block on there and there if I need to. And uh, I probably will add another 16. That should be enough to mention the generator. Uh, the ones I'm placing down, I'm not even gonna worry about hot keying for anything any setup. They're just for lift. So let me take care of that. Nice show return. Okay, I have done it, uh, just in time too, uh, night's falling, this is actually the second night. Uh, needless to say, I've had to add a few air plates, and uh, I'm being sarcastic about that. I have absolutely no idea how many air plates I have now. Uh, originally we started with these eight here, then I added the six back there, and another one at each end, another four here, five here, all around. I had to add four more generators too, which are actually down over on the posts here. So let us take a first spin. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Might have to leave that just for emergency exit purposes. Maybe put some sort of door in there. But if we hop in here, uh, switch out to third person. I am zoomed out quite a ways. Let's turn on our lights. Could be a little faster. Could show up on the, the what you call it there, the doohickey, the the windows. Yes, uh, if they were like a tinted window, it would work a little bit better. But we should have lift off. Was flying a second ago. There we go. Yeah, we're just at the limit. Which is sad, and it's a little top heavy even though I've been moving stuff down. Kind of makes me wonder if maybe some air blades in there aren't turned on. Well, I could just leave the build vision on, that'd be enough of a spectacle right there. Yeah, almost looked like the build vision was reflecting on the windows. And there we go, it is moving slowly. Uh, I was all worried about the, well that's cool, lights are flashing everywhere. I was all worried about the the weight of the beacon, I didn't even think about the weight of the, the ship itself. Well, uh, let's go find a victim, shall we? I know it's a little dark, but I uh, should be able to find someone. I see a nest over there. Oh, I got my steering backwards. Oh no, uh, this is going to be a problem. I was gonna go look for some some cows, but uh, the deer will do fine, and he's running because he knows I'm coming for him with my beam. Uh, we won't be able to catch them. Let's see if we can take out the nest at least. And fire laser. Oh wait, uh, yes, strafing. Strafing helps. And there we go. We got a UFO with its little laser beam. Nice if you could change the colors here. Uh, 
that was a fun little project. Let's get uh, the day back on. It'd be nice if the, the lights would spin a little bit faster. I realize that if I had the uh, lights closer to the windows, it might have more of an effect, but let's, eh, let's go downstairs for a second here. I can show you what I'm doing here. Okay, there we go. It's actually easier when this thing's not sitting on the ground to actually get into it. Uh, but yeah, so basically the lights are right here. Uh, because the airblades, you actually need one block above. Then I want to be able to get the lights in. It would be just above the windows. And that's why I had to recess it down here. And thank God we had these new blocks because that actually worked out perfect. Because it's a nice low profile. The hitbox of the lights actually pass it. So that works. So let's do... Oh, happy day. Uh, by the way, shift F1 to bring that up. They're attracted to it. It's a shame it's just a beacon. My original idea was supposed to be uh, a truck mounted laser cannon. The truck you drive up, the doors open, you hop into the, the seat in the back and actually control it. But there we go. Let's, uh, let's go take it for a flight here. Uh, hitting that control again. Control is not run, not in this game. Well, it could be, but that's besides the point. Control is how we get to the door. Okay, stand up, and off we go. We don't need that laser on anymore. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll have to, I guess, change all the key bindings, or the air blades, to, before I blueprint this, to uh, match the proper steering, because it's inverse right now. I'm actually pushing right. But the strafing works. Z and X. Z to go one side, X to go the other way. It's slow, but what do you expect? I think it's like a hundred and... It's about 140 tons, I think, right now. That works. I just don't know why it's so... awkward when you lift it up. When you raise it up. But anyways, I think this would be a good place to call it. It's been a while since I've done something creative like this. And, you know, getting, the, getting these new window blocks and have, realizing the blocks that we already had makes things... Very so interesting though. Yeah. At least it rolls on its own. Anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.